It's 2012 and gone are the days when music was mainly distributed through vinyl records, cassette tapes, or even CDs. We traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to talk to Jay Frank about how he and his company Dixon are revolutionizing the way music gets distributed. I'm with Jay Frank here at Dixon in Nashville, Tennessee. Jay, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me, sir. So talk about Dixon. What is it for those who don't know what it is? Sure. Dixon is a brand new digital record label where we've rethought the entire process of what a record label should be. Uh, anybody can come to our site, digson.com, and they can sign up with their email address and we'll give them all of our releases for free for life. And it's one of the things that we're doing is we're recognizing that now people are, are actually taking and getting music in entirely different ways. And so we're building our music business based on how people are getting music versus how a record industry would prefer that they get music. Now, you're not only the founder of Digson, you also have written a few books. So yes. which one of these is most recent? Maybe let's talk about them a little bit. Sure. Um, the most recent book is uh, Hack Your Hit. Um, and this is a book that has uh, free and cheap marketing tips for musicians to use. Uh, one of the things that I've seen is, is that a lot of musicians now are saying, okay, I know I need to use Facebook. I know I need to use Twitter. But they they don't necessarily use them as smartly as they could. And these are some ideas on saying, once you're actually on these platforms, how can you use them to greater effect to find new fans? How can you use them to actually grow and get a bigger audience? Um, my other book, Future Hit DNA, has been out for a couple of years. And this is all about how the structure of hit songs itself has changed the way people discover music. And so people and artists need to write and create songs in a little bit different way if they'd like those songs to be discoverable. Right now, the biggest hurdle for any musician is that, um, that only 5% of recorded music is physically possible to be heard at any given wow. time. That's how much music is being created and released in a, in a weekly basis. And so you need to have as many legs up as possible. And so I wrote these books to be able to arm musicians with the best tools possible to not only just be able to create a song that has a higher likelihood of being discovered, but then wrote Hack Your Hit to say, what can you do to actually then make sure that that has greater visibility amongst all the other songs that are being released on a weekly basis. 